Hey, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo, and today I want to talk to you about our, I think it was our third day on the Carnival Magic, and we went to Costa Maya. Not much in Costa Maya. We didn't get there till about noon, so we had a lot of time in the morning to just kind of enjoy the ship and I went, we went around and investigated and I took some pictures. I'm going to try to post them at the end of this. Um, but once um, we got there, everybody was really anxious to get off the ship. So we didn't have an excursion. We really weren't planning on anything. So we just stayed behind for an hour or so. And we actually had a really, really good lunch. Now, I'm going to try to pronounce the name of this restaurant. And I know it's going to be wrong. It was called Cucina del Cappuccino. I'll print it down here so you could um, see how um, it's spelt. And probably most of you could probably say it correctly. But anyway, it is their Italian restaurant. In the evening, it costs big bucks to eat there. But at lunch, anybody can go in there for free. And... Um, a lot of people don't really know about it. It's kind of hidden. If you go back into the Lido behind where the desserts are, there's some stairs and you go up there and that's where the restaurant is. And I'll have to say that's probably my favorite place to eat on board. So after our lunch, we went back to our rooms, got freshened up, and then we headed uh, off the ship. And Costa Maya, when you get off, there is a long pier. It's about a third of a mile. We walked it. Um, I mean, it's an easy walk, but if you have any issues with knees or whatever, they do have a little um, like trams that will take you down uh, to the main shopping area. And as far as Costa Maya goes, it's pretty much all you're going to find. I had not been there before. My mom had, and she never really had any great things to say about it. If you want to shop, though, there's plenty of shopping. I did not plan to really buy anything there, but it wound up that I bought almost all of my souvenirs there. When I first uh, walked into the area where all the shops are, there was a really cool thing that I knew I wanted. This on a tile. It's painted. And I actually watched the guy do these, and I was really impressed. Um, as an artisan myself, when I see things like this, I really try to support them. Most of the things that I have found on a lot of these cruises, when you go into port, they're just junk from China. And I really, I, that's not why I'm there. I can get that at home. But when I see an artisan actually doing their craft, and this was, um, it was priced right. It's only $15, and I think that's very good. And he, it was really hard for me to, to choose which tile I wanted. But I had told him I didn't buy it right away because I was afraid I would drop it or break it. So uh, I went and did the rest of my shopping, and on the way back to the ship, stopped there and picked it up. Uh, what else did I buy there? Oh, I bought, I knew I wanted to get a silver bracelet on this trip. I had planned to get it in Cozumel. I'm glad I didn't do it there because they were a lot more expensive. But uh, in Costa Maya, I got this. And I'll have to say, since the last time I visited Mexico, their silver has gone up tremendously. This is Tasco. I think that's how you say it. And it's pretty good quality, very good quality, in fact. Um, but I probably won't be buying anything like that again. <laughs> okay, so what else did we do? Pretty much that's it. My opinion, Costa Maya is a little hokey. When you first go in there, they have these guys dressed up like Mayans, and you can pay to get your picture taken and all. Now, they did have one cool thing, and I'll try to post a video of this at the end. But they had these guys on a pole. They... They come off and they go around and they do all these fun acrobatic things as they go around and around coming down off the pole. That was pretty cool. I'm trying to, I've got my notes here. 
because I want to make sure. Oh, okay. So that night, oh, let me back up a little bit. So when we got back on the ship, I had planned to do the rope course on the magic. I'd done it on the sunshine. And I was really anxious to do it on the magic. It is a little different, but it's pretty much the same. But because of high winds, I wasn't able to do it. And it was like that throughout the whole time. The rope course was closed the whole time. So kind of sad about that. We have booked another uh, cruise on the magic for next May. So hopefully I'll get the opportunity to do the rope course then. But um, anyway, let's see. So we get back on the ship, just kind of enjoy it. We enjoyed our balcony, our cove balcony. And uh, that night um, had a really nice dinner and we decided we were going to go to the magic show. It was bad. I'll have to say that was probably the worst show that I have seen on a cruise ship. I'm, I'm not even going to give the name of the guy because I feel bad for him. Um, but it was really bad. We did not walk out, but I saw several people walking out. He was not doing a magic show. Basically, all he did is he picked out a poor little boy. He's about nine years old out of the audience. And just made fun of them. And I just didn't think that was appropriate. So I, I was really sad about that because I have seen some good magic shows on these ships. But not that day. Anyway, that was pretty much Costa Maya. Not much. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.